So, today's uh, content, I'm not so sure about how popular it's going to be, but what happened was I was looking at some YouTube stuff over the weekend and saw a few different videos in there purporting to give some insight into bar raising and what a bar raiser is, and quite honestly it was wrong. Um, now, I don't think the people that created these videos were ever Amazonians, so I'm going to forgive their inaccuracy, but in the spirit of the Amazon leadership principles of insist on the highest standards, I just couldn't let it go. So I thought I'd just make a quick video about it and just fill you guys in on some truths. Okay, so the first thing to note is bar raising is not actually a job. Nobody ever gets paid for being a bar raiser. What bar raising is, is a thing that you volunteer for on top of your day job and you're probably going to commit from and above six to eight hours a week on bar raising. So it's an additional kind of voluntary thing that people do on top of their day jobs so they're going to have to commit that time to it and still do their day jobs and hopefully do their day jobs well. So believe me when I tell you bar raising is a serious commitment and it's something that really that bar raiser gets nothing back for other than the satisfaction of doing a really really great job and making sure that we hire the best people into the company. Okay so the next one is how you become a bar raiser. So effectively you get talent spotted. So you'll know that there are a whole number of people on your panel for interviewing and a bar raiser. So what will happen is a bar raiser might have interactions with someone on that panel, both kind of in the interview process and also through debrief, and think that they might be a really good candidate for bar raising and nominate them. Or maybe that person's line manager nominates them for bar raising, but it's an invited kind of a training program um, that is bar raising. So what then happens is, as I said, you go on to a training program and learn how to become a bar raiser. How long the training program is, is completely variable for each different individual. It's dependent on, quite honestly, your skill as a bar raiser, but also the types of debriefs that you end up having to lead. To be able to qualify as a bar raiser, you really have to be able to prove that you're able to cope with and get the right outcome for the really tricky debriefs. Sometimes it can just be pure luck that you get a few of those in a row and you qualify. Other people, it takes a lot longer because they just don't get lucky and get those tricky debriefs. I've heard of people that qualified as bar raisers within weeks. I've heard other people take well over a year. Okay, so... What a bar raiser then actually does, it kind of breaks down into two things. There are some admin responsibilities associating with a bar raiser. So when you're invited on to take a loop, um, you'll have these people called um, recruitment coordinators, and it's their jobs to pull together the interview panel, coordinate everybody's diary, which is a complete nightmare. It's such a challenging job for those guys. I respect them so much. You've got to coordinate all of these diaries and get all of these people in the same place at the same time, which is no mean feat in Amazon. They'll work with a bar raiser. The bar raiser's responsibility is to look at that panel that they've pulled together and make sure that they meet a few basic criteria. Everybody in Amazon has to be trained to do interviews. So a bar raiser is going to have to check that each individual on that panel has done that training and they've got the right amount of experience. Another thing that Bar Razor is going to have to do is make sure that that panel has the right level of diversity across it. Amazon genuinely works really, really hard to have diversity in their panels, and it is the responsibility of a Bar Razor to try and make sure that that diversity exists in the panel. And then, of course, the next part is the actual interviewing and debriefing. So from an interviewing point of view, a Bar Razor does not have any special questions that are exclusively reserved for a bar raiser for you. Right? There's no magic or mystery in that. As with everybody else on the interview panel, a bar raiser is going to be allocated a leadership principle and they will then ask you questions about that leadership principle. It will be the hiring manager or the recruitment coordinator who decides which leadership principle the bar raiser gets. They don't get to choose necessarily, but nothing special no magic, you're going to get exactly the same type of question asked in exactly the same type of way from your bar raiser as you will from anybody else on the panel. And then finally, once the interview process is done with all of the people on your panel, it's the bar raiser's responsibility to manage and facilitate the debrief process. 
I talk about that in a bit more detail in one of my other videos, but essentially the debrief is all about everybody from the entire panel coming together, virtually these days used to be face to face, to discuss your interview and they will discuss the key leadership principles that the hiring manager really cares about and come together to try and take a view as to whether you are raising the bar on those leadership principles overall. Raising the bar means you are better than 50% of the current population. Now that's really, really important because if a bar raiser only did bar raising for a living, they would really have no concept of what the current level of the business is. You have to be working day to day within the business with different levels of people across the business to be able to have a good sense of what raising the bar actually means. So that's why you could not possibly have bar raising as your full-time job. You have to be in the organization. You have to be working with other people so that you've got a really good barometer for what raising the bar is. Okay, that's it. I think I have covered off all of the misnomers that I spotted in those other videos. I hope that's been helpful for the people that decide they want to view this video. So until next time, take care.